Hello everyone, today we're doing page 45 in the Home Connection Math Book. So make sure it says Home Connections on the front, open to page 45. So today we're adding numbers, but we are rounding before we add. So let's look at the instructions. Rounding numbers can help you make good estimates. Round each pair of numbers to the nearest 10 and then add the rounded numbers to estimate the sum or the total. We know that the word sum is the total. Okay, so here it tells me the numbers I need to add, which are 237 plus 349. So I have to round them first. So it says in this box, rounded to the nearest 10. So I look and I'm rounding to the tens right here. So I always look at the ones place, which is a seven. So this means I'm going to round up. And the number 237 is between 230 and 240. So if I round up, I'm going to round up to 240, which is what they put right here, 240. The next number is 349. Here's the tens. So I look at the ones place, it's a nine, which means I round up because it's more than five. So the number 349 is between 340 and 350. So if I'm rounding up, I'm going to round up to 350, which is what they put right here. Then they took these two numbers and they added them together over here. 240 plus 350, so I can add zero and zero, and I get zero. I can add four and five, and I get nine. And then I can add two and three, and I get five. So that's where my answer goes. The sum of 237 and 349 is about equal to 590, because this is an estimate. We rounded our number, so it's not the exact answer, but it's about equal to this number, okay? So let's look at the next one. So first, my first job is to round. So I look at the tens place. I start in the tens place, and then I look over here to the ones, and it's an eight. So because that's an eight, I'm going to round up. So the number 168 is between 160 and 170. So I'm going to round up to 170 and I'm gonna put that over here. Next, I need to round this number. So I start in the tens place. I look to the ones, I have a two, which is less than five. So I'm going to round down this time. 122 is between 120 and 130. So if I'm rounding down, I'm going to round down to 120. So that number is going to go over here, 120. So now I have to add these two numbers together. So I'm gonna write them this way, up and down. So I add zero and zero and I get zero. I add seven and two and I get nine and I add one and one and I get two. So then I put my answer here. The sum of 168 and 122 is about equal to 290. That's my estimate. You're going to do the same thing here. You're gonna do that on your own. And then number two is a story problem. So it says estimate for each story problem below. Explain your estimation using numbers, sketches, which are pictures, or words. So Ravi likes to ride on the merry-go-round. Each ride lasts for 49 seconds. If Ravi takes two rides, about how long does he spend on the merry-go-round? So it tells us that we need to estimate in this problem. So I want you to take this number and I want you to round it to the nearest 10. And then after you do that, you can solve the rest of the problem. Down here, 
we're going to estimate again. So you're going to round this number up or down, round it to the nearest 10, and then solve the problem. Good luck.